everyone. insurance in general and I decided that it would probably add more value to talk about something that probably everyone has either experienced at one point being a winner or is currently winning. So um, how many people here are winners? Oh, so I'm pretty sure you guys already got your winner's insurance, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> renter's insurance is one of those things that um, you get a lot of protection for a small amount of money. And has anybody here ever been the victim of a home invasion? I was a victim of a home invasion once before, and this is what prompted me to get rid of insurance. I was 20 years old, it was my first apartment. Um, I was away in college in Carbondale, and I went home for a Thanksgiving break and enjoyed the vacation and came back home. And when I came to my apartment, I didn't notice anything was wrong. It wasn't until I went to the door and tried to open it. and. Um, this person tried to break in, but instead of just kicking the door in, they took like some type of chisel and hammer and tried to chisel out the lock. So fortunately for me, they weren't able to get in, but it was a very jarring experience. And not to mention having to wait two, three days until the landlord was able to come and fix the lock. You know, I didn't know if they were gonna do that. I was a single woman living alone. So, um, it was at that time when I said, you know what, I'm going to have to be more responsible and make sure that I'm covered. You know, I can't stop someone if they break in, but if they do, I want to make sure that I'm not financially decimated. So from that point on, I, I had renter's insurance. What about um, a fire? Has anyone experienced a fire in their home? Okay. That you have. Okay. And. Um, you know, mommy asked me, after your fire, the most damage you probably, that probably occurred was from the smoke damage, right? Right. Um, when, when you have a fire, most people think that, oh, all my stuff's gonna be burned to cinders, I'm not gonna have anything left. But actually, the majority of the damage occurs from smoke. Smoke has a way of getting into furniture, to clothes, and just completely destroying it. And actually, I was just talking to one of my mentors last week, and he experienced a fire in his home. It was a bright summer morning, and he and his wife um, had just bought a condo, and um, the sun was just beaming into their bedroom, and she was sitting in her vanity applying her makeup with one of those five-time magnification makeup mirrors, and she was meticulously applying her makeup. And you know, she got finished. She left out as normal, um, and so did he, and they went on about their day. Maybe about four hours later, he got a frantic call from someone from the homeowners association saying, your alarm was going off in your place. We got a fire, the fire department's here. And he's like, what, how can I have a fire, you know? And um, they went back to the house, and um, there was a, a burn, maybe, I think he said it was about eight feet by 10 feet on the carpet. He's like, this is the fire, that's it? So he was thinking that everything was gonna be incinerated, but actually what happened was, the sun was uh, shining so bright that it beamed into the house, bounced off the magnification mirror, and created a laser beam onto the carpet and started a, a fire on the carpet. Yes. And initially he was thinking, okay, all right, we'll get new carpet and, and uh, you know, we've got to let the homeowners association know that we've got to get some type of tent on the window because if it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. 
but no, the, the plot thickened as the adjuster came and they started evaluating everything in the house. Everything was ruined due, due to smoke damage. They tried to take some things out and air it out in storage, but nothing counted. They ended up having over $36,000 worth of personal damage to their, to their, into their home property. Furniture, clothing, even makeup was destroyed. Eyeshadows, smoke permeated everything. So um, in these two instances, it just, I just wanted to highlight that life isn't perfect. There are no guarantees. And you can't control all the factors that happen to you. But there are some things you can do to be proactive and to help yourself, protect yourself from the, these crazy instances and Murphy's Law. And that one thing is renter's insurance. For the small amount of money you pay, you get a lot of protection and more importantly, the peace of mind. Thank you. Thank you.